I'd now like to introduce you to our very special guest this evening, the Rhode Island Commissioner of Education, Dr. Ken Wagner. We took a big step to close these gaps with the gaps from the governor and the General Assembly adjusted the funding formula to invest in new approaches that meet the needs of English language learners, including dual language programs, where students learn in English in the morning and Spanish or Portuguese or Mandarin Chinese in the afternoon. We also need to focus on leading indicators of progress. When we move those leading indicators, things that show progress more quickly, like student and teacher attendance, quality curriculum, advanced coursework, and hands-on career-based learning, then and only then will achievement gaps improve.